you know what I this is Joseph Yusuf uh, John the Hypola. I haven't done a video about Palestine in a while and uh, that kind of bothers me actually because I was thinking about it and this is one issue one topic where I kind of throw my hands up and say you know I just I don't know it doesn't seem it seems like there should be no point in talking about it. I'm actually ashamed to talk about it because uh, there was a point when I thought maybe my purpose in life is to go over there and fight and help those people. Now, yeah, that's at a time when I uh, had a totally different belief system, didn't think the highest of democracy, uh, things like that, but Even, or I should say, no matter how much I disagree with uh, certain aspects of Islam, and even if there were no indigenous Christians in Palestine, let's say you took them all away, I would still think that's probably one of the most important causes. And Well, by far it is. I mean, the world watches on as genocide and ethnic cleansing take place and people actually come to the defense of Israel I mean good nice hard-working people and they defend Israel for the strangest reasons reasons they wouldn't accept by anybody else for any I mean God told them that it was their land a religious group being allowed to come in and seize land that uh, the religion they're claiming they they're from hasn't held any territory there for over 2,000 years or well I guess just under 2,000 years AD 70 or no and then well that was the destruction of the temple and then what 135 was the Bar Kokhba revolt when uh, revolt when it was actually named Palestine after the Philistines. It is, if you watch Al Jazeera or Russian TV or any, I mean, even if you go to the American Al Jazeera, the American, uh, well, Amer English Al Jazeera really isn't the same. Um, but there's a good, it's called, I think it's called Russian, uh, it's RT Russia Today or something. It's a, it's a news channel produced by the Russians. It's in English, and it's very good. The good thing about uh, Al Jazeera is that they show everything. They broadcast basically everything. They don't censor as much. Uh, and I know a lot of people who, uh, in the service, actually like uh, Al Jazeera better than any other uh, news network. But we get shielded so much from what is the flotilla. How did they spin that? How did they could they possibly say, oh, it was terrorists? I mean, there's footage of the Israelis jumping on board with guns, and then these people run up and hit them with uh, bricks, pipes, bats, whatever. And they say, oh, look, see, they're attacking soldiers. A guy with a gun just boarded your ship, for God's sake, and you're out in international waters. It's, Every time the Israelis kill somebody, kill innocent people, bomb a housing complex, they always have people come on and, and spin for it. And this is where I think it's terrible. It's ridiculous that the Republican Party is locked into, into just totally helping Israel. Why isn't, at least in the... With the Democrats, there's a wide variety of people who support Israel and people who hate it. Why is it that in the Republican Party, that is just totally shut out and not talked about? Now, I'm not a Republican. You know that. You guys know that. But I am no longer a Democrat either. I, as you guys know, I supported Obama, everything, but... Uh, maybe it is the Maybe it is wrong for us to sit here and live in luxury. If there's people suffering, well, how is it immoral to go pick up a gun and help those people? 
I, I don't see how pe more people, I mean, it's too common now, and I, I feel bad. All of the videos I make should be about Kalistan. Every every video on here that people, people should realize and get angry about it, but then again, what are we doing but talking? This needs to, it's, this is ridiculous. The Nazis committed genocide and ethnic cleansing upon the Jews. Therefore, it's okay for the Jews to do that to somebody else. There, there was, if one, if we prove one thing, and so we've learned no lessons from World War II. Peace.